Alright, what's up? It's A Set. Thank you guys with some master dual contest video content. This is a video I've been trying to work out for a long time because I can't honestly find the perfect build for me for this deck. The much people I, I looked at and researched and all the mixtures and everything. Uh, I can't seem to find. I like playing it. I like playing it pure. I like playing it with the Inver Infernova engine. I tried it with Snake Eyes. I did have plans to make a Castira build with it too because I saw some guy use it. YouTube video listening. It actually was doing pretty good. But I like building decks that are pure. And the deck I come to give you guys today slash uh, as you actually read the thumbnail and stuff is Battling Boxers. And I'm going go off with the pure build first just to give you an example of like what I'm working with right now. So this is going to be the breakdown section slash stuff you should know about balance boxes. First off, it is an XCs based deck where you have a lot of rank 4s, like level 4 monsters to do with. You have some options of ranking up your balance boxes for at least two cards, General Kaiser and another rank 5. You can also, yes, you can just realize something. I did not include the. Uh, where do you have to make that again? Yeah, I gotta go to this side. So I put, I put Utopia in here, but then I didn't realize I actually didn't have. Uh, where are you at? Yeah, I only got one of them for a reason. Mm. Mind and minor setback, real quick. There you go. Here I'll take front and press it It always really good with fire. But yeah. This is what I'm working with. Uh, a lot of these cards you can take out, change out, and stuff like that. But honestly, I've been having fun with this. The thing about Battle and Boxes, I will say, uh, they don't have as many extender plays as I really wish they did. For one, they have at least two cards that are special on themselves. It's just the uh, Spare, and then this is also uh, Shadow Boxer that detaches material. I'm going to go over some stuff you need to know. First, if you want to do your one card combos, you got to have promoter. It's basically the one card starter. His goal is to give you two battling boxers from a special summon. And by the end of it, if you have three battling boxes on the field, or this battling boxes on the field in general that have levels, you can either decrease their level to one or increase the level to one. Why is that important? Because your boy needs to have level five battling boxers. Or some of one of the battling boxers, boss monsters, C79 battle and boxer general Kaiser, or C105 battling boxer Comet Sixus, or if you want to rank down, so I didn't put him in there because he's a battling boxer. Battling boxer cheap commissioner. It's really cool. So you definitely need three of those. You definitely. I don't, I don't know if you want to run three uppercut. Uppercut is really cool. One. Such as a battle and boxer through your deck to your hand, or a counter trap from your deck, which could be, I think, any counter trap really. But only counter trap I really run is a battle and boxer one, which helps out a lot. You can also want one called Flame Flame Guard, I believe it's called. Oh, no, it's not Flame like that. It's Flame. You can also run. Uh, this one, this one as well, Flameville Counter. You have to banish a fire monster with 200 uh, defense from your graveyard. I think most of them have about that. If, well, actually, not really. The only one has exactly 200 for that is actually Upper Cutter. So it's up to you if you want to run that. Really good card, really good way to search. You also need to run uh, three Chief Seconds, as this is your extended normal summon just from having Battle and Boxer. And also, he gives you a little bit of a hand trap when it comes to battle phase stuff because when your opponent attacks, attacks a battling boxer, you can you can um, banish. Well, actually, let's see, you banish the attacking monster and then you special summon Chief Second from your hand and then that monster comes back. But it's some protection. As the one ofs, I'm always gonna probably want to run a glass draw. Glass draw is cool because when you get sent to the graveyard, you can add a battling boxer from the graveyard to your hand. This is going to be giving you the option to add a cheap second, add promoter from other plays, and then definitely add uppercutter. Next, I run definitely two of switch switch hitter. You're going to run two of these. You can run three. I run two. He gives you a he gives you a, a special summon from the graveyard balance boxer. 
which can come in handy because you can also use it especially some of exceed balance boxes from your graveyard. It's not balance boxes in general. A little bit of a sneaky hand trap. When a battling boxer attacks or being attacked, you can banish this card from your hand and that monster gains a thousand attack. So the end of the turn, you're gonna use this once per you're gonna use this once per turn. Think of it as a black wings Kalut. Uh back in the day when a black wing monster hit 14 on their attack. This is my shit. Also, I like to run my Magnum Shield just to have a Magnum Shield. It's really cool. Just powering up your guys. Um, two of the Balanced Box of Spirits. Extended Searcher. Normal Arms. Uh, Derendel. Because you're searching, you're searching Fire and Warrior Monsters anyway. And you want to bait out some stuff. So you want to definitely look out for this card. Really helpful for your deck. And of course, Rhoda. And then you got your standard... Um, Hand trap and permanence ashes. Mm, you can go three maxis. I chose two for this one because I want to try this. What other bounty boxes can do. This is my rank up card. There are other several better rank up cards. I think it is right now because uh, when I looked, you also have seven ascensions, which you can target either a Brian spell and track card or a rank up spell and track card or a seventh spell and track card except this one. Add to your hand or replace it on top of your deck. And if your opponent controls a monster special summon from the extra deck, you can banish this card from the graveyard, someone rank up spell from your hand to the graveyard. This effect because of that effect. Can be used for a quick play thing. Uh the reason why I don't run it, I don't have any URs for it. But if you got the URs for it, and you wanna switch out uh these, you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say for this. And also I got X XYZ block. But because uh, it's really cool being able to detach and get you out of the monster negate. But monster negate, monster negate, monster negate. I don't really have too many spells on trap card negations per se. It's more of just um, trying to try to do it where I can. Get some uh, battling barker stuff. And also run seven. This is only seventh seventh card I have in here, but it has the battling box of artwork in the top. Basically, it's kind of like your other rank up quick up plays where like when a battling boxer or when a Basically, when a battling boxer is destroyed by battle of card effect, you can target an XE monster in your graveyard. That's something from your extra deck over. No number C with the same type, but they rank higher. And if you do attach that monster to it, as a material, and especially summon the C monster with a different, with a number, 107 between N, 107 and A, and you can add a 7s or Brian Spell and Track card when your graveyard thing. So they add some stuff too. But honestly, this one's probably a little better because you can only activate. But this one's probably better now because you can only activate this during the battle phase. Yeah, only if you watch the story, I'll be y'all to try to get this, <laughs> try to make some content before I actually get over it. Like, but this is my deck build for this, and then this is your standard XC stuff. Uh, if, you run, if you run an XC, you got to level four with the same rank. Tell me a future, you tell me a Draco. Don't really run this if you don't have to. I'm just choosing to make it for the pure build. Uh, you definitely want to run Yoke, Lead Yoke, as he protects your balance boxes from being destroyed by battle or card effect. And when you detach something from him, he gets 800 attack. Pretty good. He gets pretty beefy. He gets up to 3,800 just by his effect alone. And the protection is nice. Uh, battling Boxer Star Sightus. I use this for the rank up for the other one, but. Here's a cool fact is when you attach material to the gate and the face of a monster while it is facing on the field to the end of the turn, that monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from that battle. A little bit of a, uh, how could I say, it's uh, Red Dragon Arch, but the hot Red Dragon Arch fiend thing, but you need three level four monsters, which kind of so I wish it was a level two. Uh, Battling Boxer. Battling box of Nova Kaiser. Nova Kaiser is the other rank up one I like to use since we use him to get to uh, General Kaiser. Basically, you are, you're going to attach Battling Boxer stuff from your uh, hand of graveyard to this card. It also has a really cool effect because when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, while it has materials, you can target level four Battling Boxer monsters up in graveyard up to the number of materials this card had. Especially something else. This man has four materials, or at least three or two. You put some of two battling boxes. And not bad to recover, because if you actually get this card going again, you can do something like that. Next, we're going to go Baguska, because you just run a level fours. You never know when you have to stall. 
uh, King Dipsy, because then King Dipsy you have some fire monsters or fire warrior monsters, violent boxing monsters, violent boxers spell on trap cards, and it gives your violent boxers a protection effect where they cannot be targeted. They cannot, your opponent cannot target violent boxer monsters you control with card effects the rest of the turn. You only activate his thing once per turn. And you don't have to at detach materials from him, you detach them from any violent boxer. So if you want to come up with my boy Lee Yoke, you can do that too. Yeah, Balan Boxer, uh, Boxer, Balan, number C105, Balan Boxer Comicitis. Uh, basically, I'm using this for that, like, effect damage type thing. Plus, we managed to get that rank up. Uh, once we're turning, you can detach one material from this card and target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. If you do that face up monster, if a battle damage to your opponent equal to the attack that monster had on the field, which could be. Added attack that the monster had because it, it doesn't say original attack, which is a really cool card that you had. And then, last but not least, well, last but not least, is Zeus because we're playing XEs. Why not play Zeus? My boy Balan Boxer, uh, General Kaiser, he gets to negate a special summon, I believe. Negate us, negate. Let me see. Attach the two materials from this card. If you do negate the summon, if you do destroy that monster, and if you have. Nova Kaiser as material, it gains this effect. So basically, when your opponent was summon, when your opponent was supposed to summon a monster, big effect, you can do that, attach to to destroy it, you get to summon. But, this is why I like playing a rank up thing. A lot of people don't actually do the rank up thing for it, but it's actually really cool. Once per turn, when an attack is declared, following your balance boxer monsters, which you're going to run mostly balance boxes anyway, so don't need to worry about that. You can send a battle boxer from your hand or deck to the rear, and if you do, attach that opponent's monster to this card as material. Just taking stuff, and it doesn't even matter because like, if you're actually attacking with it, and attacking with it, you can just attach it as well. It's pretty cool. This is my peer build for it. I want to go to tell you guys some infernoble stuff, which uh, I'm still working through that because the reason why I say you want to actually probably mix it with something. Because let's say your promoter gets negated from its effect and it's just sitting there on the field. One, if you normal summon it, you don't have any follow up per se besides maybe um, balance box of Sperry. Because you need two of it, you need two balance boxes basically on the field to actually do some some do some shenanigans with to even get the XE monster going in general. And the normal night stuff can actually give you stuff to work towards that. So one, you're going to have basically the same ratios of having Balan Boxer Promoter, Balan Boxer Chief Second, and Balan Boxer Uppercutter as the extenders. With that, you're going to have Class Draw still at one, Sparrow still at one, Switch Hitter still at uh, one, Sparrow, Sparrow still at two, Switch Hitter still at two, Shadow at one. But you're going to use the Infernova Engine to get some stuff off, so with Run On, you can use this for summon it, and then it's summon this way, treat this card as the tuner. You can special summon this card when all once we turn this way. I don't really use the whole like the quest spell thing as much as I need to because I really need to start doing that. But this is a good special summon you can go into to extend your plays. This also extends your plays by summoning a balanced boxer from your hand when it banishes itself. And by doing that, you you can summon that balanced boxer as a tuner. If this card was normal summon, special summon, you can target one level four or lower fire warrior monster in your area, special summon it. But also, you cannot special summon monster for the rest of your turn except warrior monster, which definitely no problem because I'm replaying in here warrior monsters, you know, except my girl, Promethean Princess, is a fiend. But here's a cool way to extend combos too. You want to actually use uh, Turpin, normal, if a normal knight, Turpin, Turpin. I'm probably saying that name wrong, but don't add me on that. But basically, he turns if uh, you get something equipped with something, so like a manual shield or, or my Infernoble's Duradin, you can summon some of this card, I believe. If you control a clip, I'll summon this card from your hand or graveyard. But if you summon it this, if you summon it this way, it vanishes. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one level, target one warrior monster you control, equip this card to that monster. And then while this, any card equipped with him becomes a tuner, basically. Then you have Phoenix Gear Free, which kind of just adds to like the whole like giving some extra stuff to do. 
banish, banish some equip cards, and then you can use the effect to get that 500 to equip stuff to them. And being able to like take some stuff and equip it to you, feels good for you for more items. It's actually really cool. Then you had your classic like Valley Walk of Spirits so that too. Different, nah, I'm about to say different number, but the Miru, Primal Being, Ashes, the Max Seeds, the Call Vies, some kind of board wipes if you need to. And then Infinite Impermanence. And then one Battling Boxer Cross Kind. This is my Inferno build to it, so I'm still working on this one. So I messed up the combo for this statement. I could do a pure wise, but definitely mess up the combos for just trying to like insert the, these three synchros into something. It's really weird. But you got Promethean Princess to extend your combos. You have a way to get Nova Knight Captain Rolling out with um, my Nova Knight Princess, Nova, Nova, Nova Knight Nova Arms. You know, you can do the whole like level five thing as well with her and this to make Charles. Basically, I'm trying to use these for make Charles and Charles is using something like this. I don't use much of the Nova Knight like um, cards for it in general, so probably, probably switch it up. And one thing, since you're not running the um, the rank up stuff in here, you can probably switch out something of like Nova Kaiser and this one as well. I'm using it just because you know, it's still the theme of Battle Boxer, but I might switch it out and add like Ice Sword or something just to try to get some stuff in it. Because you know, Ice Sword isn't banned in uh, Master Duel, which is uh, really cool. Or even add something like uh, Trotius King and Over Arms, so you can actually get some equip cards up to him. Never a bad thing. And then my boy shot to uh, Emperor Charles. So this is actually my peer build for it and my Emperor Nova build for it. There are different Nova Violet uh, Boxer builds, like I said. Some of them use Dimension Shifter, some of them use Cash Tira. Some of them have a mix of Infernoble, some of them have a mix of just pure, with like maybe some extra extenders. But basically, this is my Balanced Boxer kind of deck profile slash explanation of the thing. People usually do these things at the end of the video, but I have to figure out how to do it at the beginning to show off what I'm working with and doing like the replays and stuff. But yeah, watch the replay. Let me guys let me know what you guys think about Balanced Boxers in general. Do you think it's actually a really fun deck? Not really meta wise, but you can do some really cool things with it. And people and take people off guard with just how powerful the deck actually could be. Yeah, enjoy the replays. See you guys in my next video. They see it out.